Hey everybody, this is Ben Zeno of The Wong Report. Today, we're back here again at Warren Wild with Brooke the Zookeeper, Hi. and this is an Eastern Box Turtle. Think I can hold them? You sure can. Thanks. Wow, guys, look at that. What an awesome little animal this is. Now this is definitely a male, and you can tell by looking at, at his face. So right there, you see his eyeballs are a very, very bright red orange color. Now males have those brighter colored eyeballs, and around the head you see it has these kind of highlights of orange and yellow. So males are going to have a lot brighter colored neck and kind of frontal leg area than the females were, and that's to attract females. And the a second way you can tell is by looking here at the plastron you can see that it has actually kind of curve to it as an indentation there. And that's so that when the male mounts, it kind of fits nicely. And then his shell is also going to be a little more flat than a female's. Now these, the second two are a little less obvious than the eye color, but if you were to see a male and a female beside each other, you would see that the male has a little bit of a flatter dome to the shell. But let me put them down here on the ground and I'll talk more about why box turtles are so important. All right, now box turtles are probably some of the most common reptiles in North Carolina. And you see them a lot of times in backyards, you can see them in the forests and public parks. You can find box turtles just about everywhere. Now these are land turtles, these are not aquatic turtles. Uh, you do see them walking across land just like this quite often. And some people think that they are got, got lost from the water and they need to put them back in a pond or something. Box turtles do not swim. If you find one, please do not put it in water because it will sink like a rock. Now, box turtles are not tortoises, but they are very, very close. They're just about the closest thing that you could get to a tortoise in North Carolina. And they do have very similar behavior to a tortoise. So they have that domed shell. Their skin is much more dry and scaly than aquatic turtles. That's to preserve their moisture. And then a, a huge part of the water actually comes from their diet. So an adult box turtle is probably about 90% herbivorous, but they do also prey on things like insects, and they'll even eat dead uh, dead animal matter called detritus. So these are not strictly herbivores, and once they do grow up to be a mature adult like this one, they are going to rely mostly on plants for their food and water. But especially as babies, they do eat lots of little insects. But box turtles are actually in trouble. Um, as slow-moving land turtles, they get hit by cars a lot. A huge mortality rate for turtles comes from vehicular collisions. So these are, in fact, a species of special concern in North Carolina. Although you see them everywhere, they may not be as common as you think, because cars in urban expansion, which destroys their habitat, really has limited numbers of box turtles in North Carolina. So if you do find one in your yard, just let it be. Uh, of course, they're very peaceful turtles. They're, they're not going to harm you at all. Uh, you may be tempted to keep it as a pet or, or move it somewhere else, but these turtles have a very small home range. Uh, usually when they choose their home range, it only has a couple hundred feet of area. So if you move them out of the home range, they can be very confused and they might not survive. It's so important that we keep them in North Carolina because they're, prob they're the only species of land turtle that we have. And if box turtles were to go extinct or become endangered due to vehicle crashes or urban expansion, you'd never be able to see these little guys in your yard. And you know, lots of kids, this is their first animal that they ever find. And it's, it's a really great creature encounter to have with your family or kids. So this little turtle has just been awesome today. I'm going to get him right back in his habitat with Brooke. But the last thing I want to say is, if you find a box turtle, there's two things you should do. If it's on a road, please try to move it off the road if you can. But if you find it in your yard, just let it be. Because I know that it's very tempting. They're so adorable. You really want to keep it as your pet. But these are a very limited number in North Carolina, and they do need your help if they are going to survive. Thanks, buddy. Well, everyone, that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Eastern Box Turtle. Make sure to comment your thoughts below and subscribe to my channel for new wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.